ran to Apollo 8 story. So on the first day of the mission, Jim Lovell accidentally snagged his life jacket on one of the struts for the seats and it inflated. You might think, just deflate it, what's the big deal? Well, that's easier said than done when you're in a spacecraft because the life jacket was filled with carbon dioxide and releasing that much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere risked overwhelming or oversaturating the lithium hydroxide canisters that were designed to scrub that toxic gas out of the atmosphere. The crew, of course, had many of these lithium hydroxide canisters, but you don't want to start swapping them out on your first day of the mission already. So this became like a big to-do of what are we going to do? How are we going to deal with this life jacket? It got to the point where it was like they had too many things to deal with on the first day of the mission that they just kind of waited and they dealt with it later on. And hilariously, I think, Houston didn't like circle back with the crew on what happened with this life jacket until more than 100 hours had passed. It's like 115 hours into the flight, Capcom's like, hey, whatever happened to that life jacket? And they're like, oh, we deflated it. So like, I don't entirely know what happened. I don't know if they tried to like hook it up to the urine dump because there was some talk of like dumping it with fluids or dumping it safely overboard, or if they just like did it when they were changing canisters and said, kind of screw it. Um, but yeah, that was like potentially an issue. Little things that you would never think are problematic become super problematic in space.